Okay guys, so in this video we're going to have a little bit of a look at a bug fix and some considerations to have when you do a bug fix. So let's get into it. So we can see here that our coworkers have gone through the testing and gone through of all the different things that we've done so far in, in our application. Now usually there are a few strategies for doing testing and basically manual testing of some sort where you just click through the application and make sure that everything is working as expected. And they've considered all of these things to be you know something that they feel confident about and they've found two issues that we should address. And the issues they've found are highlighted here. So first and foremost we have this thing here where it states that hey the domain can be anything and what's really nice is to add a screenshot of some sort that indicates that hey this is the problem area here and so we've talked to them and they've said hey you know this is supposed to be fmail.se it shouldn't be possible to input just anything you want so that's the first bug fix and the second bug fix is that if we input a really really long mail address like this or like a really long username you break the whole layout so there should be some type of you know graceful way of handling having that much of like that much text in our email basically so if we have a look at that basically if I go and I do this and we log in we can see now that we've made a fix where we have some type of content length here which is going to cut off and then it's going to be an ellipsis at the end of this text and so we considered yeah this is probably we can we can call this pretty much done right and as for actually creating a new email we, we've added this part here which states that hey if I just do something like that and I do this and I do that I actually I don't actually enter the at fmail anymore. It's actually automatically applied to my code. So let's have a look at that. Let's look at that. So first and foremost, let's look at the user model. What's happened here is that we've added a match statement to our email field. And all this is going to do is that it's going to match the string that is being inputted against this regex, which is going to state that, hey, you can start with anything, but you need to end with at fmail.sc. That's basically it. And then we have our user service that's been updated. So it's going to take in a username now instead, and it's going to apply this last this string to the username. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it, really not much more has changed when it comes to actually saving the thing to saving our model to the database here we've also added that hey now an incoming like an incoming user request for actually creating a user or logging in as a user should no longer be registered as an email schema because you don't really need to do that anymore you we're simply going to make sure that the thing in question is a string that's about it and that it has some type of I've added this as well like some type of min max um, like a lower bound and an upper bound that's about it and then of course we've updated our tests so that it reflects this new thing that all right it can't just be any email anymore it actually has to be fmail and that's that's for just fixing that part, yes, making sure that fmail.se is the f f like the the domain that we're using, and for the for the header, like for fixing a very long piece of string, all we actually have done is to add some CSS to our header email, where we simply set an overflow of hidden a text overflow of ellipsis, so that if the text actually goes outside of the bounds, so we're simply going to cut off with an ellipsis, and then we set white space to no wrap, so the so that the text doesn't actually try to wrap when the content gets too long it just st sticks on the, st the same line and then some margin and text alignment and you know basic flex uh, basic um, flex properties so that it actually flows with the rest of the elements on that line and yeah that's that's about it really not more it's not nothing super fancy and for the login we've changed our text field from well email to text now because we're not actually sending over the wire anymore we're not 
sending an email, we're sending just a piece of text, which is the username. And the same thing goes for register. It's uh, That's all that's really changed. We've added this little section here, at fml.sc, and the type is now text instead. And yeah, that's that's about it, really. And some small styling changes to, um, to the registration. And then finally, we've updated our tests for composing an email, because now, as you can, you know, we're not inputting an email anymore. We're simply inputting the username, if you will. And create a cry count has just been updated so that our type is now changed from email to text. And then same thing here, updating the the uh, the email. And yeah, that's about it really. So now that we've done all of this, we can move our cards to ready for testing. And then we can wait for our coworkers to verify it, and then we can merge this in and release the product. So let's have a look at that.